Hey, hi everyone, Kodandi here, back with my daily video. And today, uh, one of the women came up to me, and she's like, you've lost a lot of weight, haven't you? And I'm like, yeah, I think I have, actually. I When I packed my bags, I packed only clothes that fit. So, sorry blouses, I had a bunch of them that needed some alteration to get them to fit, and I decided, you know, I just ran out of time, really, um, and I had some other uh, curtis that I didn't bring because they didn't fit. And actually, I gave <clears throat> gave a lot of those away because it was just really too much for me to deal with. And um, anyway, <laughs> so I only brought blouses that fit me at that time. And I get here, and the first few days that I'm here, I'm wearing them uh, be because it was before I started the program and needed to wear this white sari with the gold border and before I got the gold blouses. So I had all my different color saris and blouses. And the other day, I, uh, when I was wearing that white sequin sari and the blouse there, the blouse was too big. So I had to pin it so that it would fit properly enough to wear anyway. And so it's it's like I haven't really done anything specific to try to lose weight. I'm just not that kind of person. I generally don't care if I'm fat or thin or whatever. My body naturally balances itself out pretty well. But I've been dealing with depression for so long. And even though I was working as a dog walker and I was on my feet active walking from you know, 30 minutes to three hours a day, kind of depending on my schedule. And I didn't, I wasn't eating a lot either. That for whatever reason, I was gaining a lot of weight and unable to lose it. Um, there was, you know, I, I thought maybe it was thyroid. I was taking some thyroid herbs. Came here, I didn't bring my thyroid herbs with me because they're expensive and I kind of ran out of money and figured, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out here, I'll work it out. So when I was back in Oakland and dealing with depression, one of the biggest problems that I had was getting up in the morning and getting going in the morning. That I would wake up and it would just be like, ugh, there is a whole day that I have to fill before I can go to sleep again. And it was so overwhelming. It would take me hours to get out of bed and get going. And once I got out of bed, had breakfast, I would take my tea back to bed. And I would continue reading the internet. And it was mostly because I just couldn't really do much else. And so, you know, I would kind of do that and wait until I had my first dog walking appointments to really do anything during the day. Um, and not that there was any shortage of things to do. It was just too hard, too much to do. And so here at the, the Adinam, Nithinanda Pitam Bengaluru Adinam, we start our day at 3.30 a.m. Someone comes around, wakes us up, and we roll out of bed and get ready for yoga at 4 o'clock. You know, you, there's not really much required for yoga. You just kind of put your clothes on and everyone gets frozen sweaty again. So then after yoga, we have an hour to get changed, get a bath, um, and get ready, get everything together for puja at six and so then we have puja from six to seven after that we have a chance to get breakfast and get back for kirtans dancing and satsang starting at eight and satsang runs at least an hour sometimes more so there you have it from like 3 30 until probably about 9 30 i'm really busy and i have no problem getting up early like it, it just doesn't bother me. The concept of 4 a.m. yoga class is like, whatever, I don't care, I like yoga. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have yoga at some other time of the day, but 4 o'clock's fine, I'll do it, whatever, no big deal. Um, and so I'm just, you know, busy, and I start my day that first, like, six hours of the day, I'm doing stuff, and I'm up, and I'm active. And then after that, I mean, I can't just take my tea and go back to 
bed and read the internet anymore. I'm awake, I've done all this stuff, and so I go to work here, or I go to whatever sessions are going on, or whatever daily activity it is. So I don't really have the opportunity to lie around in bed, uh, you know, watching TV and being depressed and stuff like that. You know, we're we're working. Sometimes I get a nap during the day, but mostly we're working. We're pretty busy until, you know, I mean, you could be busy until 9, 10, midnight. Um, you know, I'm finding that like three to four hours of sleep is, is a good amount for me here. That just, you know, the whole energy of this place... It's just amazing. It's really amazing. The energy of everyone here, the energy of the guru here, Paramahamsa Nityananda Swamiji, the energy of the land itself, the energy of the trees, the plants, the animals, everything, really just gets you up to a higher level. So I don't feel like this, you know, slug lying in bed anymore. I'm active. I have things to do. I'm busy. And it's nice. It's really nice having this morning routine to get me out of bed. You know, I can't make excuses. We all get up together. No one's allowed to miss um, unless you're like, you know, broke your leg or something actually very serious. If you're sick, you're still supposed to go show up and you just sit in the back and do what you can or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's... It's nice. It's it's really nice to have this morning routine. It's really helped me come out of this depression. And, you know, having being in such a high-energy place, I feel like I just have all this energy and I can go. And I, you know, for about a week, I just didn't really eat anything. I would eat, you know, some soup and some bananas. You know, I was skipping dinner because I just didn't really feel I needed it. I just had a really light, you know, really light meals, and it, I kind of had to start forcing myself to eat again because I was really, you know, needing to start eating a little more than just a cup of soup and some bananas twice a day. Um, <laughs> but it's just, it's just amazing. You know, I still feel like the, the depression is kind of, you know, back there, kind of creeping up a little bit, so I have to stay on top of that and, you know, stay on top of those thoughts, stick to the morning routine, really, you know, just not take a nap during the day, just don't go back to bed, and just keep going, and keep going. Today I have another uh, project to work on. Before, the past couple of days I've been calling people, um, you know, people that request information or send their uh, contact information in to the website through various means. We, we call them back. So I've been doing that, talking to people, but um, today I got to back to work on one of the other projects that I have, so I'm excited about that now, and yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy here, and you know, my energy levels are better, like a lot better, and I just hope, you know, soon I can completely drop the fatigue and depression and drop it so completely that it just doesn't ever come back at all. That would be really nice. I would like that a lot. Okay, Nityanandam everyone.